guys, it's Brittany, of course, and today's video I am super excited about because it is about another haunted doll, and you guys love these videos, majority of you guys are like, more haunted dolls, so you know, I listen, of course, and I enjoy looking up these dolls and researching them and just like, learning about them, and mmm. So today's video is all about a very haunted doll, I feel like I say that all the time, a very haunted doll, all of them are are very haunted but this one she's a superstar of all the dolls according to a doll collector by the name of Janice so today's video is all about Bebe the doll I okay I'm gonna admit I thought at first her name was BB because it's B-E-B-E -E, but it's actually Bebe <laughs> so Bebe the doll so let's get right on into it you ready for this one Amelia she loves these haunted doll videos guys she is just like whoa girl I am obsessed <laughs> so, Bebe, she is a porcelain doll with red hair and blue eyes, and she's always been a favorite to doll collectors since 1976. There is one doll collector by the name of Janice, and Janice has over 25 haunted dolls. But she says that Bebe is the most realist haunted doll. She believed that Bebe would be the star attraction and she would show the entire world what a haunted doll is all about. So when she first came into Janice's home, the whole atmosphere in her house was different. Very mixed emotions. Janice would often feel as if somebody was watching her. She would turn around, well obviously Amelia's there, but nobody would be there. She would often get chills going down her spine and just always felt like somebody was watching her. A very eerie feeling inside her house. Janice would hear doors slamming in her house as if somebody was mad. She would also hear lots of giggling. If I heard somebody giggling and it sounded like a little girl and it was a very creepy kind of giggling, I would freak out. I would jump out of a window. It's mind blowing to me how these people are just so calm. Like, oh, it's just giggling. You know, I heard giggling the other day in my house. I don't know who was there, but it sounded like some little girl giggling and slamming my doors. Like, it's totally normal. <laughs> I would jump out of a window. I really would. Finally, after nights and nights of this nonsense, door slamming, giggling, all this crazy stuff happening in her home, Janice finally decided to have her house be blessed. That's just when everything got a lot worse. One night, Janice heard this thumping sound coming from upstairs in the attic. So she decided to go up to the attic and investigate. When she got up there, she started feeling like she couldn't breathe. She actually felt like she was being suffocated. She saw this man, this very tall man, appear in front of her out of nowhere. He started whispering to her in this very sinister voice. She couldn't understand what he was saying. So as she's looking at this man just whispering to her in this very sinister voice, she then hears the sound of a little girl screaming her head off from behind the door. The man finally leaves and all Janice sees is the body, the dead body of a little girl laying on the floor and in her hands is Bebe the doll. Is this little girl the spirit that is inside Bebe the doll? And was she murdered? Because who is this huge tall man who talks in the sinister whisper to Janice? Who is this man? Is that the man who killed the little girl? Is she the one in the doll? It makes sense, doesn't it? Definitely a different story than all the other doll stories that I've told you guys about. Anyways guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching once again. You guys are absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. It's absolutely terrifying. I say that about every single doll story that I tell you guys, but this one is definitely different with actually having a body a dead little girl's body and this tall man that is speaking to you in this very sinister whisper. So that's really, it's very bizarre, very scary. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, hashtag team Brody44, hashtag Brotherins. And I know you guys are probably like, girl, you're wearing a Slytherin shirt. Yes. I wanna see it? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Ah, I hope you guys can see. I'm like obsessed with it. So amazing. I got it at the mall the other day. I was like, ah! 
I need this in my life. So, you know, anything with Slytherin, oh, I just hit my makeup powder thing. But anything with Slytherin on it, I need it. But I know you guys are like, you need to wear like Brotherin stuff. Girl, I know that. And boy, I know that too. <laughs> but, you know, I'll always be in Slytherin, but I'm also in Brotherin, as you guys know that. I'm always representing my peeps, my homies. So, you know, shout out to Slytherin. <laughs> Hi Tom Riddle, hi! <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I am so crazy. Like I am mental. Mentally insane. I can't believe you guys, you know, actually like me and you know you enjoy watching me because I'm pretty sure I've scared some of you <laughs> because I am just crazy. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go now. So thank you guys so much once again. Oh my god, I think I've thanked you guys so many times already. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>